I've been a drug addict for I think about 10 years, 11 years. And uh, yeah, I found, my, I found my way here three months ago. I've been here for three months at Lakai. And yeah, uh, things are looking up for me right now. Every, you know, I, I, I learned here yeah, that um, that you, you, when you do drugs, you take on the characteristic of drugs, of the drug you're doing. So it's a really ugly, it's a really ugly thing, you know. It's really, it's really dark, it's really gloomy. And if I had to give you a big show, like that's exactly what it is, you know. You, like, you know, they have these ads of like people in the alleyway getting raped, getting stuff like that. That's exactly what it is. It's really, really ugly. It's really not nice. And it, it gets that there's no human being that I know or that I could like think that would lo love to live that life, you know. And uh, you know, once you once you down in the deep pit to get up, it's, it's another story. Um, yeah. So luckily, I, you know, I, after a long while, like I, I put out my arms and I said, "Look, I need help." And uh, there's people like Uncle Gordon here that's that's willing to help me and you know take walk with me every step of the way. We we call ourselves a reintegration program. I think we're the last free place there is in, in South Africa so people don't pay to come here. We actually give them a bit of a stipend every week to to help them along themselves because a lot of them have no family support. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a long journey and uh, it started off slowly and, and suddenly we're growing and I think more that we get our website organized, more people come and see what we do the more people want to come and get involved and help us and it's just been overwhelming you know. It's, it's really just a bunch of guys who are working together and not only being a community but almost like a unit of a family and this is relationships that they'll keep for the rest of their life and they're working together to get through the same struggle yeah. and what they've achieved by building on and how they're trying to be self-sustainable having their own vegetable garden you know, having their own chickens to slaughter, and it's just wonderful. We normally help other charities in need or other places. We all go clean the streets or we do something, except for this year. So for us, this has been new. I'm totally overwhelmed with the response. Uh, I think uh, my, my biggest goal right now is uh, to, get, to get reconnected with my family as much as I can, uh, get my kids back uh, back on my side and get them back involved in my life. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, as, as it goes and when the new year, new year comes, I think uh, I would like to see what, what, what employment opportunities is for me. Like uh, regarding the farming, I actually really enjoy enjoy the farming. So I'm thinking maybe I'm going to go into farming or, or something like that. You know, I enjoy, I've gotten back into my gymming here at, at things. So also one of the avenues that I'm kind of like thinking of maybe I want to go into personal training. So yeah. that's what I'm thinking.